Hey guys! Okay, so tonight <laughs> for Keto Wars, it's Mac War. So we're gonna do a Big Mac kind of variation. And you know what I tell you guys? To work with what you've got all of the time. And we're gonna have a lesson in that tonight because I planned, this was a suggestion from a lovely, lovely lady that I adore named Jackie. And she wanted to have Big Mac sauce tonight. And I am down for that because I adore the Big Mac sauce. Now, when I planned to make this for supper for my video, I thought I had hamburgers in my freezer downstairs. And it turns out that what I had was steaks. But I'm going to say, is that really a bad? <laughs> if, if you think you're having hamburgers for supper and accidentally you end up having steaks, meh, it can't be so bad. So, <laughs> tonight we're going to make steak style max, because why not? And I also had planned to do an appetizer style Big Mac. So we're going to do a Big Mac sauce. I'm going to throw the steaks on the grill and... Isn't this awesome, guys? This is my indoor grill, and I absolutely love it to death. It just has the heat element in it, and it's awesome for when I want to grill in the winter time. My absolute favorite. So, to do our appetizers today, I have just a couple of frozen meatballs that I had left over, and I'm going to throw them in the microwave. Hey! Happy Tuesday. You know the best thing about Tuesday? It's not Monday. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pop those in the microwave for one minute. And the lovely Jackie gave me a recipe for mac sauce. And do you know what? I don't even know why I didn't think to look up one. It just was one of those things I hadn't done yet. You get busy looking up certain things and you miss certain things. So, we're going to start with a half of a cup of mayo, and I haven't cut the pickles yet, we're going to do that. And then to that we're going to add two teaspoons of mustard, let me hold that up so you can see. I'm eyeballing two teaspoons because that's how I do. One tablespoon of white vinegar, and then we're going to add, it calls for a tablespoon and a half of sweetener. And I usually find I use about half of the sweetener it calls for. So I'm going to start with half, and if it needs more sweetener, I'll add more sweetener, because that's how I like to do. And then a half of a teaspoon of smoked paprika. I'm going to add just a little bit extra, because I like the, the color. Paprika doesn't really have much of a flavor, so I know it's not going to really do anything flavor wise to it. So we're gonna mix this up. And then you add cut up pickles into this and that is the recipe for Big Mac sauce. So I'm super excited about that. And I never thought to have Big Mac sauce style steak, but it'll be like kind of like a steak sandwich with Big Mac sauce. And, and I say, why not? Why not? So I'm curious how your guys' week is going. It's Tuesday, and I am super excited for tomorrow. And I know it sounds funny, because it's hump day, and it's Wednesday, and it's the middle of the week. But I have a secret for you guys, because tomorrow is going to be the most fun day ever. So the other day, I was watching a Dr. Barry video, and I absolutely adore him. And he was interviewing with an absolutely phenomenal lady, and she is the Countess of Low Carbs. And I can't tell you how much I absolutely adore her. She's fantastic. Diva on a dime girl, just like me. So tomorrow at lunchtime, we're going to have a girl's lunch tomorrow, ladies. We're going to have a hump day lunch dance party. And the Countess of Low Carb is going to come join us. And I'm going to show you guys some fun brunch recipes. We're going to have egg puffs. And we're going to have mini donuts. And we're going to do some that are specially with just fruit and no sweetener. Because I know a lot of you guys are starting out and some of you are hitting your stall week. And sweeteners sometimes do that. So I'm going to show you a sweet yummy treat without any artificial sweetener. And then 
I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm going to show you guys my favorite bulletproof coffee. And it's also my first original recipe. And we're going to create a special bulletproof tea tomorrow. So we're going to do something absolutely brand new together tomorrow that I haven't made yet too. So I'm super excited. It's going to be at noon central time. So that's 11 a.m. for me. But if you guys can't catch it live, then catch it on the replay. It's going to be a lot of fun. And it's lunchtime. Go, go hide in your car or in your bathroom with your headset because it's going to be fun. Okay, so we've got our mayo mix. I'm going to chop up the pickle to go into that. And of course, I've got myself on my cutting board here. But that's okay too, because we're creative and we can we can work around anything, right guys? Okay. I'm gonna leave the pickles a little bit coarser too, because I like that. Now, I don't know about you guys if you were as obsessed with Big Macs as, as I was. I don't really eat the Big Mac burger, I don't like the extra bun, but I always loved the sauce. Loved the sauce. Okay, so we're gonna put the pickles in there and then I'm gonna throw that in the fridge to chill while we get our appetizer on the go. Now, I, I did make it a little extra orange with the paprika, but I'm gonna say I like it like that. So that's gonna go in the fridge to chill. And there we go. So these ones are already a pre-cooked pre -cooked meatball. So one minute in the microwave for these is long enough. Now, I cut a couple slices of zucchini and I'm going to throw them on the grill just to lightly braise there while I flip the, the steaks. There we go. And I do like this one for an indoor grill. It's not so bad on the grill marks. It's kind of pretty. And I do love the convenience of it because I don't know about where you guys are, but it is blistering cold outside by my house right now. And then I decided I'm going to do just one grilled mushroom as well. Nobody else in my house eats them, but we're going to use it for our fun appetizer. So I'm just going to cut the middle out of it. And I'm going to, I'm going to grab a little bit of olive oil to brush it with. And I think we're going to do the same for the zucchini too. It doesn't really brown very nice if you don't. And, and I won't lie, I was going to be lazy about it, but let's, if you're going to make it, make it nice. So we'll brush a little olive oil on those. And I don't really want them cooked because I don't want them to be mushy. I just want to sear them lightly. And then same thing with our mushroom. I'm just going to pop it in there so it can, so it can go in there. Okay. And then you guys, got to see how huge this radish is. I was so absolutely impressed. I got a bunch of giant radishes and it's going to be fun because I spiralize radishes a lot. But for today, we're going to use it in our little mini burger appetizer. So I'm going to cut it into slices. If you guys have not tried cooked radish yet, I'm telling you right now, you have got to try cooked radish. I know it sounds weird. I know it sounds odd. And I'm going to say, you like me, I like you, trust me. <laughs> because when you cook a radish, it loses the radish taste. And it doesn't taste like anything. But look at how they look like little red potatoes. So when you grill them or broil them or any way you cook them, they look like little red potatoes. They make really nice hash browns and all of that kind of stuff too. I love them raw. But even if you don't like them raw, take a chance on trying them cooked because they taste completely different. Okay, so we're gonna take our little zucchinis off and they're gonna be a base. And I'll leave the mushroom just a minute longer and flip that over. 
Now I'm going to cut them in half just so that they lay flatter on the base of what we're making. And honestly, it would make a cute little platter if you were doing a lunch or if you had to take appetizers. For me, this is a dinner or a lunch, but I mean, you can spread it out and do all kinds of different things with it. So I'm just going to line them up on our plate here so that we have four zucchinis, four radishes. And then, again, this I'm going to use the processed cheese for this because Big Macs are supposed to have processed cheese. But if you don't want to use the processed cheese, don't use processed cheese. Melt down a little bit of cheddar and then put some on each. But I'm just going to put a small little, in all honesty, I'm probably going to use half of one slice of cheese to have just a little bit of cheese on each so that it shows out the bottom because yeah, I want it to be like that. So I have the radio on on the TV and, and I won't I won't lie. I, I would have put this song on on purpose. I think it's one of my favorite songs ever. I'm so excited that it came on by accident. Okay. So then we've got our base. We've got some with radish and some with zucchini. And then we're going to put a little bit of baby kale. Just enough, again, to be like a cute little piece for decoration. So I'm going to tell you guys a secret. For, for anyone who's had... Um, any kind of bariatric surgery. These are an excellent appetizer, but this is my dinner portion. So I'm going to make these guys for you to see, but this is honestly what I will have for supper. It's the exact right amount of food for me. So small appetizer plates are something that I often will make for myself because it's convenient. So then we're going to put our half of a meatball on top of each. There we go. And I'm going to grab toothpicks just to pop in there to hold them all together nice. So then you can either serve them this way to dip into the Big Mac sauce or drizzle it over top. And when I sit down to eat it and I take the pictures for you guys, I'm probably going to drizzle it over the top. But I just want you to be able to take a look and see how cute that is, that it looks like a little hamburger. Now you could put top and bottom as well if you want, but for me, I'm going to just do them that way. So we're going to set those aside for right now. And I'll take a cute picture of it and post it in the feed for you guys as well. So we've got our little mushroom and I'm going to take some of, because we had a little bit of cheese left over, and I'm going to put some of the cheese in there and let that warm up. And I'm going to cut a couple little ends of the radish because I want to grill a little bit and put it in there too. Because again, I really, really love cooked radish and it doesn't taste like anything. So I'm gonna cut it up to give a little bit of texture inside of the mushroom and then we'll put a little bit of kale inside there and then some of the mac sauce, because why not? Okay. So, and we know what we're making for tomorrow's recipe, but we're still open for Thursday. So if there's anything that you guys have absolutely been dying to try, then send me a message, make a comment in the feed here now, and we can chit chat about it and decide what we want to have for Thursday. I don't know, last week I did karaoke party for Thursday, and that was a lot of fun. So I'm, I'm really contemplating doing that again, but we're doing a dance party tomorrow. So I don't know, can we ever get too much bright, fancy lights and dancing? I just don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna take out the sauce 
from there, because our steaks are almost done, flip this little bit of radish. Now in my house, we're kind of a medium rare house, so I'm gonna say these are just about done. And I will uh, plate one of them up for you so that you can see. Okay, so we're gonna start with a bed of romaine. Now you could use the romaine as kind of like a bun as well, but I'm just going to use it as a bed of romaine and then a little bit of baby kale on there because we like that at my house. And then I'm going to put the cheese on it. And then the steak. There we go. So I'm going to tip you guys down so you can see. So that's our Big Mac style steak. And on top of that, you could add extra pickles, whatever you would normally throw on your Big Mac, even some grated cheese, whatever if you want. I'm honestly probably going to throw a little bit of radish on top of that as well. And then we're going to take off our grilled mushroom. And I'm just going to Garnish that with our piece of radish. And we're going to put a nice little baby kale in there. And a little bit of mac sauce. Ooh, that's warm. Okay, I'm gonna find something to set that on before I show it to you guys, because that's hot. Okay, so then the centerpiece of our appetizers. There you go. So it was so awesome to hang out with you guys tonight, and I hope to see you tomorrow at lunchtime. We're gonna meet the Countess of Low Carb. We're gonna have a dance party. We're having donuts, ladies, and bulletproof. So for tomorrow, it's going to be bullet wars. So for keto wars, I want to see your favorite bulletproof recipes. Doesn't have to just be coffee, guys. Can be hot chocolate, can be tea, chai tea, peppermint tea, sky's the limit. We want to see bulletproof recipes tomorrow. We're going to take it to the streets old school style. Let the bullets hit the floor. Have a great night, guys. I can't wait to hang out with you tomorrow. Take care.